Now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome our next act on tonight, again, part of the course that is, of course, the art of stand-up comedy. Would you please welcome the extraordinary Tor! <laughs> Hey, uh, I'm tall. Give a collective moan if you are sexually frustrated. <laughs> I'm glad we're gonna be equal souls tonight. Yeah, I'm sexually frustrated. Um, as we get into November, we get into the fifth month of my dry spell. <laughs> We're sliding into November, I would say no pun intended, but this is stand-up and I'm trying in both pursuits. So, um, yeah, I'm basically writing a book at the moment. Uh, it's called uh, Times I Almost Got Laid. Except, except at this point, it's more of an encyclopedia with uh, a two-page index, a four-page foreword, and a series of pie charts and Venn diagrams that are more depressing than the Brexit polls. Because <laughs> the thing is, my sex life and Brexit are very similar. Um, I... Uh, I suggest the idea of a union and 52% vote no <laughs> without knowing the full facts. <laughs> uh, but uh, and also like Brexit, my uh, it was it was the dr my dry spell was almost over on the uh, 31st of October on Halloween, um, so. <laughs> It's the problem when you invite your friends <laughs> who were there when this horror story, no pun intended, in fact, pun intended, was taking place. So, I'm at this house party and uh, I start chatting to this girl. Um, she's dressed as the devil, although she's only wearing devil horns, like a bit half assed if you ask me, but at this point, I can't be picky, you know? <laughs> So it's, uh, you know, we're chatting and stuff, and uh, she goes, ah, oh, do you wanna go in by the stairs and talk? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, man. <laughs> that sounds chill. But in my brain, it goes, is this it? Is this it? Is the drought over? Has the Nile flooded? <laughs> Have the gods blessed the holy rains to quench the barren lands of involuntary celibacy? Is this it? Call cool Bob Geldof, cause Live Aid is off! <laughs> and uh, so we're, we're chatting. We're getting close. We're uh, talking and I'm like, I'm gonna excuse myself and go out for a cigarette. I need to talk to the guys, come up with a game plan. It's been a long time for me. So I go out for a cigarette and uh, her friend comes out and goes, don't get with my mate. <laughs> okay. In other news, I was uh, walking along the street the other day and I saw two pigeons having sex. <laughs> and I stood and watched for a bit. <laughs> and uh, these pigeons are getting more action than I am. Maybe I should try eating chips off the floor and <laughs> shitting on people's cars. Not that I don't do anyway. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but you know what? I'm not sad. I'm not upset. Because my dream girl is out there. My wifey. My ying to my yang. I know who it is. Ronda Rousey. Three-time gold medal UFC fighter. Do you know her? You, oh, you know of her. Okay, so you're, you're going to get... You know why, where I'm going with this, man. Like, <laughs> mate, how cool would that be? Going out, with, going out with a female UFC MMA fighter. Like, it would be so sick. I mean, I can't imagine, like, I might not be her type. <laughs> not going to lie. It's not like she's gone in an interview yet. Yeah, do you know what I look for in a man? Yeah, dodgy facial hair. <laughs> Stand-up comedian, wiry, problematic drinking habits, gets out of breath walking up four flights of stairs. But you know, I just it's a fantasy of mine. Like, how cool would it be? Like, I'd be I'd be out on a night out. I'd be out on a night out, and uh, you know, some blokes would start on me because I'm a gobby little shit sometimes. <laughs> a lot all of the time. And, you know, it'd be great. I'd be, you know, they'd come up to me and I'd be like, I'm not gonna fight you, mate. I'm not gonna fight you. But my missus will eat you alive. She'd be there in like her dress and her high heels, like breaking necks, taking names, snapping bones. I'd be hiding behind a bin, clutching a purse, like, get them, get the mean men away from me, honey. <laughs> Oh, guys, I'd be a proper little trophy husband for her, you know? <laughs> After the wedding, she'd take me in her arms, <laughs> carry me fireman style up to the marital suite. I'd be like, ravish me, darling. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, this is being filmed. So, Ronda Rousey. <laughs> If you're out there and you happen to watch this, call me. <laughs> I'm Tor Hudswell. Good night. <laughs> Tor there, ladies and gentlemen. The wonderful Tor. Excellent.